party people what's good your boy bq here impact lounge youtube channel make sure to like and subscribe so it was announced last night many of us saw this coming tommy dreamer will be challenging for the tna world championship taking on moose at slam anniversary now if you've been following me for a while you know that i'm one of those advocates of keep tommy dreamer off television you know i didn't think he needed to be in the main event in 2000 19, 2018, 2017, you know, I'm talking about episodes of Impact. And while I respect everything he's done for uh, Impact, for wrestling in general, you know, by no means am I discounting anything like that. But you know that I've been a big advocate of like, keep Tommy Dreamer off television and, you know, throw some new, new guys in those spots. Now for what it's worth, he doesn't sit there and go over the established town. For the most part, he loses his matches. But if you look at some of his past pay-per-view matches, him versus Eddie, that was my least favorite match at Slammiversary when he was the mystery part. He's usually the mystery partner over the years. He's been mis random mystery partners, but he was the mystery partner of Eddie versus uh, Moose and Cross. That was my least favorite match on the show. You know what I mean? So there, there's a little bit of a, a trend going on there. But, you know, I, I just want to let you guys know from what I'm understanding, the reason that we see Tommy Dreamer on television so much is that when he is involved in the show, when he's involved with the broadcast, the ratings are apparently up and the YouTube numbers are good. And, you know, from what I'm understanding, that's kind of what it boils down to is that Tommy Dreamer equals eyes. Now, here's the here's the crazy thing about it. I don't think those eyes, well, we know those eyes don't come from the Impact fans. It's it's the people kind of outside of the company. So, I mean, out, outside of the company, I mean, people who don't really watch the show on a regular basis or don't watch it at all. And that makes a lot of sense because you're trying to bring new eyeballs or, you know, bring some fans back or, or whatever, you know, because a lot of people out there are still interested in, and curious in what Tommy Dreamer does. But here's the weird thing is that I can tell you right now that this video, a little social experiment here, not a social experiment, but a little social media experiment, um, this video right here is gonna do my worst numbers of anything I've uploaded in the past several weeks. I can almost guarantee you that because my viewers and listeners and the, uh, the regulars who watch the show don't really care. And they're, most people are kinda like, I'm done with the dreamer thing. Um, so, I don't like uploading videos that I know aren't gonna do well on the channel, but I'm doing it in this case just to prove a point that the Impact fans don't really care. Um, it's more about eyes outside of the company. You know, and that poses a question, you know, how do we balance uh, what the fans who watch Impact want and with what do we gotta do to bring outsiders in? But in the process, you shouldn't be pissing off the people who are loyal to the company because you know, I've been covering the impact for quite a while now, and most people that I know that I talk to are kind of over the dreamer thing, taking taking big slots. Now, let's talk about his match at Slam Anniversary, though. It is clear, okay? Fucking quote me on this. It is clear that this match is just the setup, someone else debuting in the company. All right. I don't think it's a bait and switch. I don't think he's, he's going to um, step down or someone's going to replace him or someone's going to take out Dreamer and he's going to have a new opponent. I don't think it's going to be anything like that. I think there is going to be a match. Moose is going to win. And after the match, someone else is going to be debuted. We, we know that that's going to happen. That's why this match is happening. But still, I would have at least liked Moose to just have an opponent that we care a little bit more about because he's, I think he deserves that. I think, you know, everything he's been doing. But this also goes to a point I've been making for a while now. Moose has been in a program over the last several years now. And I say several, last couple years, where he is wrestling Impact's past. And I blame the announcers. I blame the social media for not making that clear to the viewer. That's the disconnect I always talk about. And I've been saying this throughout this year, I said it last year, he is clearly wrestling Impact's past and he has been for a while. If you go back to the RVD, you go back to uh, Rhino, and then obviously he, this year he took off, took on some of the uh, 
TNA guys, you know, Chase Stevens, um, Hernandez, uh, look at Ken Shamrock, you know, um, I'm, try I'm trying to, I think there's even, even another one that I've got in my mind that might've happened before Shamrock, but he's been doing this for a while and every pay-per-view he is doing it, but impact is not painting that picture. And if they would have painted that picture better then it would have built towards this moment, this exact moment that whatever is going to happen, it would have been even bigger. And I said this in my last video, Moose was supposed to win the TNA world title at no place like home in a King of the Mountain match that didn't happen. So that's why on TV, he just, they say he just grabbed the belt out of a warehouse or, uh, I think that's what Josh said at one point. And then they also said he took it from when they did that TNA on Axis TV special. So things got messed up a little bit there, but Moose was supposed to win King of the Mountain match for the world title. And that was going to build on from there. But if, if Josh Matthews and these guys would have communicated to the viewers better that, you know, Moose has it out for TNA's past or the TNA's history or the Hall of Famers or however they wanted to paint that picture. It would have made this moment right now huge. It would have made it big. It would have been like, oh my God, who's finally going to come shut Moose up? But they were unable to do that. So I think I make some good points right there. It sucks that I'm doing it at the end of the video because I said, as I said, you know, this video is going to do less viewers than pretty much everything else I've uploaded in the last couple of weeks because the Impact fan doesn't care that much about Tommy Dreamer on television right now. But if he's bringing numbers, whether it be YouTube or ratings, I guess we just got to roll with it. You know what I'm saying? So thanks for swinging by and I'll talk to you soon. Peace.